hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel being a few weeks to christmas i thought about why not talk about dating apps uh for settlement settlement meaning maybe to find your partner your other half okay so these are some of the options that people tend to use especially immigrants okay don't come at me <laughs> <laughs> so if you are a new viewer or a returning subscriber i want to welcome you back and welcome you officially to my youtube channel as i always say this is the place to be so before going so far do something necessary click on that subscription button let us grow this amazing family road to 2k subscribers guys i want a christmas present and the best christmas present that you could give me on the 25th or on the 24th year that's when uh germans usually open their presents so the best present that you can give me for christmas on the 24th is 2k subscribers i'm hoping and praying that we are going to click Get on the notification there. bell so that anytime i upload any video you're going to be among the people who are going to get notified so let's get on to our video So guys, one of the reasons uh, that I personally will not recommend, um, this is my own opinion, everybody has, has, so there are pros and cons of dating apps, but today I'll be talking about uh, why personally I will not recommend the dating apps, okay, being a number one reason, the fact that in dating apps you could find um uh, that uh what it's just like online shopping what you order is not what you get in real life okay so you might somebody might put a profile picture of maybe they are young and then when it actually comes to the time that you guys need to meet you find that the person is actually old okay this has happened to most of my friends sometimes it's something to laugh about <laughs> so you know, another thing is the fact that and this is quite dangerous there has been a story that um somebody met um zungu online and uh the first time that they met you know they have never met so they were almost a few months like six months they were talking on, online they were chatting and all that and then you know definitely it has to reach a time where you're going to miss each other face to face so the first date the girl that went uh, she was no longer seen she actually went to a club with her Tumzungu, and ever since then she never came out nobody saw her coming out of that club nobody saw her again and she was actually an immigrant so some of the things that us immigrants go through in the name of searching for a stay here we usually put ourselves in danger okay so those are some of the risk factors that we actually go through and since then nobody has ever heard about that girl uh, it's still a story that remains a mystery of what really happened and you can imagine even maybe the parents are back at home they think that hey maybe our girl is still alive or they don't even know what happened they just know that our girl went uh to germany she traveled to germany and ever since after a few months we never heard from her so these are some things so i personally i will not recommend a dating app but i'm not saying that there have not been any successful stories there have been okay so, another reason that i will not recommend a dating app in germany is the fact that when once you put your profile and if you fill in your true details you are really open to scammers who are going to use your details for their own personal gain or you'll start getting those spam emails guys if you've ever joined a dating app most of the time these scammers these hackers they usually use usually take your data from the dating apps and then they start sending you frequent emails and all that okay so most of my friends around me have used the dating apps and they keep on complaining that every time their email inbox is usually full and also the spam box because who are these people who are sending 
they are those hackers they are those farmers who get who are able to come around your info and they keep on sending you emails that maybe you've won this or maybe this this cute person in your neighborhood and all that okay and they get to share your information all around so that's one thing i would also not recommend for your own safety and also to avoid so much of spam emails I would also personally not recommend a dating okay. app. Another reason why by um I would not re recommend a dating app. You know, dating in real life uh and via um the digital area internet there's quite a very big big difference, you know. Here um online you cannot be able to tell the character of this person through typing or whatever they type. I can write anything just to please you. I can, by the way, by looking at your profile, I know the kind of person that you want. So I'll create that picture of you that I'm actually that kind of person that you're looking for. Yeah, I'm nice, I'm caring and all that. And maybe in real life, I'm totally different. So that's another very, very big disadvantage, okay? You cannot be able to tell the character of that person through writing online compared to dating somebody live you can be able to tell who you, they are but let me tell you guys somebody would argue with the fact that you know you will not be dating for such a long time that after a few months you people will go on a date for the first time but let me tell you within six months maybe you would have met a better person yeah in real life okay so you will have wasted a six months thinking that this is the mr right or the mrs right and then once you go on a date you realize oh this is the total opposite of what i was looking for so you would have wasted maybe your year you would have wasted maybe your six months and time is running out depending on whichever situation that you are in okay so that's another reason that i will not recommend a dating app guys i've told you again and again i know there have been successful stories and I know there are. I know people have met their Mr. and Mrs. Wright on the online platforms and their marriages are good and their relationships have lasted long. But there are also disadvantages, okay? So you weigh them, them out with the advantages, which maybe I will talk about them in another video. But here, um, just recommending personally, I will not recommend a dating app. There are so many, so many of them. There's Tinder, there's Pado, there are so many of them. There's some another one called I don't know Afro what. I forgot about it when I was looking for the examples to tell you guys. So you be keen, you be careful. But another I reason would not recommend dating apps. You know, one of what first thing it has happened it happens to for example if you, you're in a situation by you need to stay in a particular country i'm not only saying here in germany but you find that immigrants fall to the fact that maybe you know one thing there are germans here who love africans but they are not free enough like to approach you and say maybe Nina, uh, i like you or that I want something serious with you, you know, because they feel shy. Maybe how will the other Germans who hate people like us, how will they regard them? So the Germans fall into going to dating apps to find their right people. Yeah, those are the particular Germans who would only want to date Africans or black people. Okay, so they get this option. They use the, this platform, which I find is also okay for them so but you find that uh you might fall into a person also that who actually hates africans and they know that as africans or most of immigrants will come to this platform to look for maybe germans to look for people who want settlement you know people who can also help them in one way or another so you find that maybe an assist is inside there and uh, they create a profile or a picture of them you think that oh my god i finally found the right person and you end up in this trap you talk to each other you finally plan on a date 
but do you know that there are people who work on to maybe kill even the the africans this happens it's only that maybe we are not even told in the tv but we hear of cases our fellow africans our fellow people they go missing nobody knows where they are they just get lost that way and when you start following up maybe they were in a dating site and they met this person and after meeting them i just gave you a story earlier they are never seen again so you as you want to enter into this app to look for your perfect match or mr right or whatever you're looking for be cautious okay it's not everybody who is looking for love there i've told you they're spammers they're hackers and they're people who want maybe to reduce the african race in this particular country so you need to be careful you need to be very careful i would advocate if you're maybe going on a date make sure maybe you have that cabestie of yours or if you have a family member give them if the person has a a number plate take a picture send immediately without that person knowing send to your bestie send the number that called you because definitely you'll have to communicate so send the number if you're even able to get a picture actually to be on a safer side do this without them noticing okay so they will not get that heads up that they are on the lookout because once they know that you've given some information they'll be careful on that first date and then they wait for you until they you forget and then bam they execute their plans okay so those are the main reasons that i personally will not recommend a dating app based on my own perspective so for those people who have watched my video until this point i appreciate your support so so much stay safe be blessed and enjoy your holidays until then bye bye